Hey, what's going on guys? Pineapple Sway, it's bringing you guys a Transformers Forge to Fight video, and it is how to play Megatron. Uh, if you are new or a beginner, this video is perfect for you, but if you're a veteran and have a lot of experience in Forge to Fight, uh, feel free to at least like the video, or if you want to watch, uh, feel free to, but this video isn't for you, this is mainly for new and beginning players, but let's get into it. Let's talk about Megatron and what he can do. Starting with the signature ability, which is No Mercy, so basically on melee attacks at level 44, uh, he has a 36% chance to steal the enemy's buff, but the enemy has to have a fused debuff on him, which we're going to get into that. But here's his abilities. He has fusion cannon 3, armor break 3, and attack debuff 3. Now, knees will get better as I only have my Megatron at rank 3. So at 4 star rank 5, he will have level 5 in all of these abilities, but his fusion cannon... Fusion Cannon takes 6 seconds to charge, 3 full heavy attacks, which travel significantly faster and deal 25% more damage. And full power heavy attacks fuse a debuff. So you're going to see later on in the video and be showing off how that works. And only one debuff can be fused, or one type of each debuff can be fused. Now on the last hit of the medium combo, basically if the debuff is not fused, he can refresh it. And special attack 1, he has a 100% chance to armor break and basically applying 34% armor reduction. And then special attack 2, 100% chance to decrease the attack by the opponent by 40%. And then his special attack 3, which is the best, you would go into fusion overload and he applies 300% attack damage of shock on the opponent. Now, all of those debuffs can be fused. But keep in mind, I think if I remember correctly, you can only fuse two debuffs at one time. And here's the synergies. Um, not really anything great, but, you know, this is something to check out. Um, but, you know, we're going to get on to the gameplay now. And I'm basically going to go through an in-depth dive of what Megatron can do. And, yeah, let's get into it. Now, you'll notice at the start of the fight from Megatron that his fusion cannon will start, which takes about six seconds to basically get activated and when this is activated you'll notice that it goes from gray to purple which means he's in full power mode which basically means he can heavy spam and every time he uses a heavy attack and hits a successful heavy attack he will lose one of these three charges as you can see right here he loses a charge but it's safe though and the better bet to keep a hold of these charges to start basically fusing debuffs. So you can see with this special one, it applies armor break. And then right here, we're gonna go for the heavy spam and try to hit a successful heavy attack. As you can see right there, the debuff is fused. Basically, the debuff will last for the remainder of the fight. And you can't stack fused debuffs, but basically, for the rest of the fight, Wheeljack will have that armor break. And this is where Megatron gets interesting. This is where we can start stealing buffs. As you can see right there, we steal the buff and now we're on his special two which is the attack and debuff as you can see right here hit him with the special two and you see it at the top right corner there is the attack debuff which i believe is 40 percent which can be upgraded i think at a higher rank and then right here we fuse this debuff as well and it is good to keep in mind that you can only have two debuffs at one time fused and as you can see against this fight against prow we are just consistently stealing his buffs and using it for our own see right here we're doing heavy damage and even right there we apply an armor break now we're going to be on or now we're going to be going on to the next part which is the special three which is fusion overload which basically in hindsight just means heavy spam uh, you now have infinite charges of the fusion cannon so you can just heavy spam and continuously apply fused debuffs you don't have to worry about the six seconds and you don't have to worry about the three charges Right there, we hit a successful heavy, which leads to the shock being fused. And basically, for the rest of the match, Dead End will have a permanent shock debuff. Now, this fight was really laggy, so you just sort of got to give me uh, some credit. But you can see right here, we're basically stealing every single buff from Dead End, and we're basically using it for our own. And then uh, we try to hit another heavy, but this time we hit it. So this time we have the armor break and the shock permanently fused on dead end but we're trying to stay patient and just bait out the special two and right here this is where the fun begins this is where megatron gets really good and for alliance missions and hard difficult content he's going to be one of the best bots in the game 
and you can see right here we are just completely mowing through dead end who has a pretty nice advantage over us and basically dead end stands no chance once we go into that fusion overload mode and basically in just a few seconds the fight is relatively over just like that now anyways though this is how to play megatron basically megatron 101 i hope beginners and new players enjoy this videos uh, or enjoyed this video anyways though it's pineapple sway peace out